Hi my dear students, let's start Unit 9 together. Its title, Cities Around the World. Let's start together. Captain Marwa, we'd like to interview you for our school newspaper. Could we ask you a few questions? Sure, go ahead. For polite requests, we use could, subject, and infinitive. For example, could we ask you a few questions? Or, we use subject, would, like to, plus infinitive. For example, we'd like to interview you for our school newspaper. Picture 2. How many female pilots work for your airline? Female means women or girls. I think one-third of the pilots are female. One-third means tilt. tilt. Asking about quantity and numbers. We used here how many to ask about the number of the female pilots. But if we want to ask about uh, quantities, we use how much. For example, how much coffee do you drink? I drink four cups of coffee. But when we ask about the number, we use how many plus countable noun. For example, how many books do you have? I have two books. Picture three. Do you ever fly abroad? Fly abroad means use the plane to go abroad. Yes, I have an overseas flight once a month. Once a month means he, she goes abroad one time a month. We use ever in the question to know if you did something before or not. Next. Do you fly the plane pa by yourself? No, I always have a co-pilot. By oneself. When I say I go to school by myself, means no one go with me. When I ask you to do your homework by yourself, this means you should do it without any help from anyone. Uh, the word co-pilot means um, uh, another pilot who uh, assess, assesses you. Next, do you like being a pilot? Yes, very much. Do you remember, my students, we use like plus verb plus ing. Do you like playing basketball? We use the verb playing with ing after the verb like. Next. Thanks for your time, Captain Marwa. My pleasure. Now, let's go to some workbook exercise. Read and number the sentences in the correct order. Let's think together. I will let you for a while, then I will write the answers. Okay. How many female pilots work for your airline? This is number one. The answer is 
I think one third of the pilots are female. Next. Do you ever fly abroad? Yes, I have an overseas flight once a month. Do you fly the plane by yourself? No, I always have a co-pilot. Do you like being a pilot? Yes, very much. Okay. Let's complete the questions. Look at A. Answer the questions. Is the woman a chef? Hmm? No, she isn't. She is a pilot. Number two, does she ever have a co-pilot? Yes, she always has a co-pilot. How often does she fly abroad? She flies abroad or has an overseas flight once a month. Now, let's see the map and know the names of some cities around the world. Number one, yes, it's Rome. Number two, Cairo. Number three, Tokyo. Number four, London. Number five, Seoul. Number six, New York. Number seven, Paris. Number eight, Honolulu. Number nine, San Francisco. Number ten, Hong Kong. To ask about the city that someone comes from, we make questions like this. For example, where is she from? She's from Paris. Now it's your turn. Yes, you are right. Where is he from? He is from Honolulu. Now, let's revise together the names of the months of the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. Okay, now if you want to ask about the time of doing something in the past, we will use when plus dead, then we put the subject plus go plus to plus the name of the city. We will say, for example, when did he go to Hong Kong? The answer will be, he went in April. But if we want to ask about the period of time of doing something in the past, we will use how long. We will say, for example, how long was he there? Or how long were they there? The answer will be, he was there for one week, or they were there for one week. Okay, now it's your turn. Look at the picture and try to make questions with when and with how long. Yeah, that's right. 
When did you go to Hong Kong? I went to Hong Kong in April. And uh, let's ask about the period of time. So we will say, How long were you there? I was there for one week. Let's try again. When did he go to Paris? He went in December. How long was he there? He was there for three days. The next picture. When did she go to Tokyo? She went in June. How long was she there? She was there for two weeks. When did you go to London? I went in January. How long were you there? I was there for one day. Again. When did you go to Seoul? I went in August. How long were you there? I was there for four days. When did he go to New York City? He went in May. How long was he there? He was there for two days. When did she go to Honolulu? She went in September. How long was she there? She was there for one day. The last picture. When did they go to Rome? They went in July. How long were they there? They were there for five days. Okay, let's go to the workbook exercise. Read and write. When did they go to Paris? They went in May. Yes. Try to answer question number two. When did they go to Rome? Yes. They went in November. Question three. When did they go to Seoul? They went in September. Yeah. Now let's go to the next exercise. When did she go to Paris? She went in April. How long was she there? She was there for four days. Okay, now let's start to make questions about the time of doing something and the period of time of doing something in the past. Picture number one. Look at the picture very well. Yes. When did she go to San Francisco? Yes, she went in October. How long was she there? Yes, you're right. She was there for two weeks. Now, let's make questions about picture two. When did he go to Rome? Yeah, he went in August. How long was he there? He was there for five days. Okay, the last picture. When did they go to Tokyo? They went in April. 
How long were they there? They were there for eight days. Okay, read the question, write the answer. Okay, let's read together. Dear Mom and Dad, I'm having a good time in Honolulu. I go swimming every day. Ahmed went to New York in May. He was there for one month. Susie went to Cairo in June. She visited her grandparents for two weeks. Jack flew to London for a holiday in March. He was there for three days. See you next month. Love, Khaled. Now, let's answer the questions together. Question number one. How long was Ahmed in New York? Yeah, you're right. He was there for one month. Question number two. When did Susie go to Cairo? Yes, you're right. She went to Cairo in June. How long was she there? Yes, I can hear you. You're right. She was there for two weeks. The last question. When did Jack go to London? He went in March. Now, let's read together this passage. Then we will answer some questions on it. It's titled, Welcome to New York City, the Big Apple. Over 30 million people visit New York City every year. Why? Because it's one of the world's most exciting places. There are 10,000 restaurants, 10,000 shops, and 150 museums, basketball, opera, theater, jazz. New York City has it all. Visit the Statue of Liberty and the Empire State Building Get texts for a show at a Broadway theater Have a sandwich at Carnegie Deli Don't forget to shop at Macca's Shop in a verb, mana go shopping at Macca's. اسم المكان اللي هيعملوا فيه الشوبينج. It's the world's biggest department store. Walking tours, boat tours, and bus tours are available daily. For information, call us at 800 double one and two we can help you find a hotel room buy plane tickets or rent a car okay now let's answer some questions about the passage question number one how many museums are there in New York City. Yes, you're right. There are 150 museums. Question number two. Why do people visit New York City? Yes, because it's one of the world's most exciting places. Number three. What kind of tours are available? Walking, boat and bus tours are available daily the last question which uh, will find you will find its answer in the title what is the big apple it's new york city yes 
you're right. Okay, let's go to the workbook. Welcome to Orlando. Over 35 million people visit Orlando every year. Why? Because it's one of the world's most exciting places. There are 100,000 hotel rooms, hundreds of shops, and 82 parks, basketball, theater, music. Orlando has it all. Visit Disney World and Sea World. Tours are available daily. Get texts for a show at Universal Studios. Don't forget to go to the beach. For information, call us at 800-555-3456. Do you want to read it again? Okay, let's go to the questions. Read and match. We have two columns. We will match sentences from the first column to the second column. There are 100,000 hmm, yeah, hotel rooms in Orlando. Number two, there are 82, yes, parks in Orlando. Over 35 million people visit Orlando every year. And the last sentence, there are hundreds of shops in Orlando. Yes, very good. Okay, read and circle, true or false. Sense number one, you can watch basketball in Orlando. Yes, that's true. Tours aren't available at SeaWorld. False. Number three, you can see a show at Universal Studios. True. Number four, Orlando isn't an exciting place? False. Thank you.